So hello YouTube family and friends. This is Rev with uh, Rev It Up Mustang Fanatic Productions. And today we're gonna bring you the next mod that we have done on Electrobiff. And we're gonna be talking about that third mod, which I've done. So we'll be right back, right after this. as I did uh, that's a classic song by uh, John Young uh, you're beautiful and that kind of I heard that in the restaurant uh, Friday with my neighbor and I told him I said you know that would be a beautiful song uh, for introducing Electrobiff in my videos uh, you're beautiful you're beautiful I really like that it was just beautiful as she is beautiful. Okay, so today, as you saw uh, in the video, um, you saw the Cobaro racing seats, you saw the Cobaro harness bar, and you seen the five point cam locking three inch NRG seat belt harness. So those are the items that I want to discuss um, in this video. Now the Cobaro seats and the racing harness bar I got from Late Model Restoration. They, they are excellent people over here at Late Model Restoration. Uh, the drop shipment came beautiful. It was the seat frames, the adjustable seat frames and the Cabral racing seats came with all the bolts and it came with the harness bar. Now there are sold separately of course I want you to know that and the instructions for the harness bar and to install the seats now on a spitz to biff scale I'm going to give these Cabal racing seats in my opinion they will be a five um, I like the high back and how they're bolstered they're bolstered pretty well uh, bolstered here they're bolstered right here and I like this low center of gravity here and it's got a good back support for me and the high seat back and then how it's lowered and then it comes up on an angle and you can see the quality of it uh, corbo written here corbo written here and then on the front of the seats um, it reads Corbo right there on the very front and that's on the passenger and the driver's side so um, they're very comfortable and but what I want to tell you is they're very low you're just about sitting on the frame of the car so if you're interested in anything like this what I suggest is make sure you have a good stiff suspension 
and uh, that uh, your car is in good driving shape. Now, Electra, she's got brand new um, Eibach corals. They're uh, the Pro Kit. They're lowered one five inch in the front and one and seven inches in the rear. And I have a brand new front end. So everything under there is completely done when I did the exhaust system. So she rides good. She got she had her alignment in and out of new tie rods. All that stuff's been done in the front end. So my suspension system is, is set up pretty good. And uh, of course the subframe members and the, the chassis stiffeners, the tubular stack the tubular uh, chassis stiffeners that are on here give this thing a sweet ride. Now Again, I'll, I'll give it a five, and on the um, the rent scale of putting these things on, probably about a one, one on the specific scale. They're very easy to install. Uh, you have to take and distinguish which one is the left uh, adjustable seat frame and the right adjustable seat frame. Once you establish that, you can put on whatever racing seat on whatever frame because the seats are not left right in the you know indifference they're universal so they're going to either seat frame so you want to make sure you have the seat frame right and once you have that you have to uh, put the seat frame on top of something and then put the seat upside down on top of something and then put the seat frames on top of the seat and you got to slide the seat rail forward to get those screws in their hex hex screws and then slide the seat rail back to get the other screws in and then they just simply bolt in right to the manufacturer's seats where they were both in at. so that was a piece of cake getting them in and and taking them out and i tell you the nrg quick release steering wheel was a very good help not having a steering wheel in the way to do the driver's side made time even easier now the cobero harness bar uh, that was relatively easy to set up and you see the harness bar uh, kind of right there and how the seat belts are go through the seat belt loop and I got them wrapped and twist tied but anyway they go where your old seat belts used to be see if I can get a good shot of that right here where your seat belts used to be and over on the other side they bolt right into that and then you have uh, these little trusses right here where the screw is and it goes into the seat felt down here which was the over your shoulder when it comes up so the bracket goes into that and then your seat belt attaches to that and so and you do the same thing on the other side and let me tell you something that bar is nice and stiff i love that bar and uh that was fairly simple to install um i'll talk about the other thing i bought is and i got this from american muscle i got my rear seat delete kit from american muscle and I made the mistake of putting my uh, harness bar in and my Cobra racing seats in. Uh, the racing seats wouldn't be so much of a problem, but the, the harness bar I had put in. And so what I'm going to recommend is that if you're going to get a rear seat delete kit, put that in before you get the harness bar. A uh, person of my age and with my disability, let me tell you something. I had trouble uh, getting in there, uh, taking out those rear seats. And putting in that rear seat delete kit but the rear seat delete kit uh, from American Muscle uh, it, it came on time again those guys were excellent also and uh, on a spits of scale I'll give that a, a one very easy to put in uh, the, the the back of it bolts right up to where your back seat frame comes from and uh, the little two pouches uh, where the seat frames are they just slide right down into the seats you can leave them like that or you could there's little holes where you can screw them into so they won't come up and um over there 
my fire extinguisher is in on the two bolts and that holds that seat down but this one I don't have down so um, that's the information on that one so I love these Cabral racing seats and um, the NRG five cam locking harness three inch seat belts let me tell you something <laughs> when you strap yourself in there you better make sure that you adjust it where you want to be because you're not going to be able to reach for anything. <laughs> and same thing for the passenger. Uh, I'm not one of those crazy drivers or anything, but no matter what I do, uh, my passenger and I, we are very safe in that vehicle. And I recommend if you're going to get an NRG quick release steering wheel that you do get um, some racing seats with at least uh, four um, locking device. Mine's is a five cam, so I got the submarine belt. You can get a six locking one also, but I decided to go with the five point locking cam. Y you wanna be as safe as possible in that vehicle because we lose the airbag when you take off the steering wheel. So I have no airbag. And frankly, I don't miss having an airbag or cruise control because I never used the cruise control. But you're strapped into that seat. It, it's just like a real life race car. It feels good. It sounds good. And that was my whole intentions after I decided to make this thing pro street. I said, I want this thing to be as much as a race car and street legal as possible. So that's where all these things, the Lord just give me these things at night. I dreamed them up. And to see it all come to fruition and come together as well as it did, you know, I just want to thank God for that. It's an honor to be able to just be here to share this video with you, to let you guys know that, hey, go buy a new Edge, or if you have a new Edge, um, take your time building it up. You can do a lot of these things yourself instead of shelling out money for people to do it for you. Uh, get in your garages and fix these things up. There are a lot of YouTube videos that people have out there. Unfortunately, there are some that are not there like for the NRG steering wheel, the quick release steering wheel. There's none on that. And some other items that I did, there's nothing on the Harley out there. So these things I, I had to figure out on my own. But the, everything came out beautiful. And I love it. I, I wouldn't change it. And I have fun with this, this little new edge Cobra uh, that I call Elizabeth. It's named after my wife, who is Elizabeth. And her paint coat is electronic silver clear coat metallic green. So we call her um, Electrobiff. And then we have our little cobra snake inside who is Spitzabith. Because this cobra, when she starts up and she goes, she spits. And she spits cars out. She's fast. 502 rear, rear horsepower coming out from the, the rear. And 497 to the crank. And so that's going to do it and wrap it up for this video. But installing a, the seatbelt harness, no big deal. Uh, you really don't even need instructions for it. But there are a lot of YouTube uh, channels that show how to uh, put on the seatbelt harness. It's no pro no big brainer. Very easy to simple to do on a scale of spits to bit scale, one to five. I give her a one. She's very easy. Again, I give her a one on the seats and I give her a one on the rear seat delete kit. And um, our upcoming videos, you've seen some of the videos on the inside of Electrobiff, the rear seat delete kit, the fire extinguisher that I painted the same color as Elizabeth. I had videos on YouTube where I, I made that uh, fire extinguisher. I painted it myself and how I bolted it in there. And there's, there's videos on my channel of everything that I did to Electrobiff. I've, you know, proudly displayed them on YouTube. So uh, look to the channel and see it. And uh, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. And we're looking forward to seeing you guys out here uh, during Mustang Week coming up next month, which is very shortly, less than a week and a half. And so I'm looking to see you guys out there. I'm going to be out there with Electrobiff. We're going to be out there with our GoPro camera, we're going to be filming 
And we are in the show on Friday and Saturday. Good luck to everybody that's out there. Let's have fun. Let's meet one another and uh, find out where all the YouTube meetings are going to be at. Let's get together and have one of the greatest Mustang weeks that we could ever have out here in South Carolina in Myrtle Beach. Let's have a lot of fun, guys. And I really want to meet a whole bunch of you guys. If you see me, just come up. Say, hey, Rev, how you doing? Uh, be glad to talk to you. Uh, I love all you guys that post all these videos out there. Thank you for, for what you do and for the channel that you have and for coming to Myrtle Beach. We love you guys. We want you to continue to come here and we want you to be safe and respect the laws that are here so the police won't be so bad on us this year. So have a wonderful day. God bless and we'll see you later. This is Rev. And as always, we thank you for watching our videos. We hope you like the videos that we're presenting to you. We try to bring you cutting edge technology and bring you the best of Mustangs, old cars, and motorcycles. But mostly Mustangs, because we're Mustang fanatics. So if you like the channel, hit the like button and then subscribe. God bless. Have a wonderful day. This is Rev with Rev It Up Mustang Productions. God bless.